We are live. On the Huck Finn Barbell Show, episode number 35, live in studio with multiple guests today, and my lovely co-host, Mrs. Barbell. Hello. Who are we sponsored by, Mrs. Barbell? We are here thanks to John Millette with The Lockup Gym. You can find him online at www.thelockupgym.com. .com. You can also find him in person. His gym and his supplement shop is a li- uh, located in Taylorville. Taylorville, IL, IL. Which is over by Springfield, 111 West Main Cross in Taylorville, to be exact. He's been there over 20 years, so you probably already know his place. But if you haven't, go check him out. He's got a, You could use code HFB10 to get 10% off of your order as well online. So big gym, great guy. Yep. Thank you, John. Thank you, John Mole. How do we get that off there now? All right. We also have guests. Do you want to introduce the guests or do you want me to do it? You go right ahead. All right. We got the white George Foreman here, everyone. He is here and he's in person. In person. In the time. flesh, baby. We are also here with one of the largest humans that you've never met or do not know at all. He goes by the name of Tank and it is not the tank you are thinking of. This is a different tank. Yeah, not Tank Barbell. This is uh, the new and improved <laughs> tank that I know on our Wednesday, uh, what are you going to say, Wednesday cruises? Or adventures. Wednesday adventures. Yes, uh, he is a what, co-worker, friend. All of the above. All of the above. One. Tank, introduce yourself, Tank Mel. Barbell is going to be upset to hear this. Well, this I isn't Tank Barbell. This is Tank. I know. I, he's going to be upset. There's another Tank on the show. Yeah, this is Another not Tank good. working out after the podcast. Sorry, Tank. <laughs> Sorry about it. Tank, what is your real name? Uh, my real name is Jimmy Shiroka. Oh, Jimmy. I didn't know your name was yeah. Jimmy. Your name is Jimmy? I didn't Jimmy. know that either. That's pretty yeah. nice. I like that. Yeah. Jimmy's yeah. stroking off. Stroking me off. That's right. Stroke Jimmy. me off, stroke off. Jimmy Stroka, where are you from, Jimmy? I'm from the small town of Pinckneyville in Illinois. Pinckneyville, which is five hours south of us. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four That's and how half. big Illinois is. Remember, we drive through fucking Illinois. <laughs> we get to Illinois and there's still fucking eight hours left. <laughs> Illinois is longer than fuck. Pickneyville IL. What do you weigh? 330. 330 pounds with part of your leg missing. Uh, that's actually three pounds heavier on the right side now because they took a pound and a half from the left to the right. <laughs> 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 yeah, Tank got in a, uh, a bad uh, motorcycle accident, right? Yeah, motorcycle accident you know, back in July of 22. July of 22. What, um, what, are, what are some of your numbers? Uh, well, pre or post, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'd say post is probably more better. Uh, five twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, five twenty-five on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> five twenty-five on bench. Uh, the deadlifts climbing. It's seven twenty-five right now. Uh, squats still looking good at five hundred. So still going up. Yeah, you got a you got a really. I saw your leg for the first time today. I didn't know. I mean, it like indents. Like when you walk, you can see like the inside of your leg. Yeah, it swells up on squat day, but. It goes down. I usually swell up on bench day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but <laughs> it, it gets it gets going. I still walking. Yeah. All right. Well, before we get into anything, we gotta really get into what we have on the table. There's white powder all over the table. We have uh new uh pre workout flavors, samples, if you will. So I'm gonna try the pre workout. Well, don't tell them the flavors. Okay, I'm not gonna tell them the flavors. That's dumb. Tell them the flavors. <laughs> Let us drink four different things or you're not gonna hear about it. You're just gonna watch right, well, us. Well, this is the this is the brand new bomb pop flavor. Well, I shouldn't have poured that much in my cup, I guess. Yeah, you poured a lot in mine too. Yeah, oh, well. So this is the first volume or whatever. They got give us two Virgin. different versions, not Virgin, volume. Not vo- Virgin. Virgin, not volume. He's not here. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty strong. Uh, can't know what flavor that is, but it's a stronger flavor than the other one. Almost like a. I don't know. I like it. I wonder what the second one. I hope like. version two is better. You think? You think so? I think it's got more of a. Is this two? Oh, you're gonna taste it. This is what you. Oh, watch it! Watch it! Well, I do. Oh, no, you're squirting all over the place. Oh, no. Watch it, Karen. It's got a hole in it. Remember, I knifed it. Oh, I. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's squirting all over the table again. <laughs> squirting all over well, the foreman again. That was really dumb for you to poke a hole in the top of the bottle. I didn't bottle. mean to. Actually, that's not bad. I'm taste testing myself. I already know what this tastes like. What though. do you think, Tank? It's better out of the stash. Out of the stash? What do you mean? Out of oh, the, mu- the moose stash. Yeah. yeah. It's always better the second taste. The second taste. Yeah, the second taste was better. It's a very good taste. Second one's better. Do you think volume two? Oh, yeah. Or virgin. Virgin two is better. Virgin two. I don't know. I like I gotta Mm-mm. have to take virgin two next. Yeah. That's not bad though. Virgin two actually those tastes a lot like loco unicorn. Oh. So that's oh. I think it tastes better, but it's almost I wonder if it's too close to local unicorn. I think this tastes a lot like a bomb pop. Like a, the like the what do you, what do you call those? The popsicles. Yes. It tastes a lot like that popsicle. It does. A it ton. does. It smells like it too. Mm-hmm. I mean, almost identical. The to second your... taste is definitely better than the first, the initial. Yes. What are you thinking now? Think? I've had the second one. No comment till you've had the second one as well. Okay. I don't know. All right, get on with the show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you finished yours already? You got to bottom yeah. out. What you, come Jesus on. Jesus Christ, Pussy. this show is going to be way too much caffeine in this show. Mrs. Barbell has her uh, caffeine in front of her. Mm-hmm. Mountain Dew Thank and Tito's. Yep. Ah. Uh, this smells better. Uh huh. Need crackers in between. Oh, this smells like that's the, it. That's it. That's it's a volume, version. Ver, version. Volume two smells like the original. But that's do you it. think it's that's a little it. bit a lot close yeah. to local that, unicorn? That's a lot better. You need to, you need to bombs up that and just like this is like dense for real. Almost. Yeah, like, it's good. Yes. The second, the uh, like a the first one has like, like a little bit of an aftertaste. The second one doesn't. That's it. Yep. This is second one. Yep. We shake it up like Karen did. <laughs> so funny. All right, now I'm about to taste test uh, volume two. Virgin. Vir- <laughs> Virgin. It's fine. <laughs> All right, let's get on the podcast. People are listening. This is great content. I told it- you it was going to be a boring show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, let's get into it. Would you tell us a little about yourself, Tank? A little more about yourself besides one motorcycle accident? Yeah. Um, uh, just uh. Uh, it, weren't you I had two accidents actually uh, I didn't really quite work out until after the first one I blew my back out and I uh, blew your back out doing what? Uh, hitting a deer on a Harley <laughs> and, we know uh, a guy who's done that yeah, and I was uh, I was question marked pretty good and uh, I decided to just slowly work in into the gym trying to straighten myself back out I was looking at surgery so uh, I had to lose weight I was right at 400 pounds and uh, they said you had to lose weight to have surgery or you're not going to be fixed so i got to the gym and weirdly enough when i started working out uh i got in my own regiment got into power powerlifting and i straightened out and didn't even have to have surgery that's where i'm at so powerlifting saved you it saved me from the surgery oh yeah. yeah yeah what'd well, you hit the second time uh a woman wet pavement <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> wet pavement on a curve I hit a ditch yeah so yeah yeah you know, they say, you know, the body will fix itself, but that's exactly what happened. I started working out and uh, my body straightened out, uh, just basically strengthening everything up around it. So it works out. I have a follow up to your question. What did you do with the deer after you hit it? Uh, fucked it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we actually had the cops come and shoot it and we took did, it. <laughs> no, we've got a Jackson homeless. Yeah. You guys think two is better? Yeah. Yes. 100%. Uh, yeah. It's actually kind of funny. Is, uh, we're sitting there. I hit the deer initially. It spins around. My cousin hits it on his bike. Oh, Jesus. And then we had to call the cops to finish the deer off because it had a broken back. And uh, it had had antlers on it. We was going to mount the antlers because of how much money it cost us. And uh, had a rookie cop. And we was like, don't shoot it in the antlers. First shot. Pow. Oh. <laughs> antlers gone. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a good time. Jackson almost hit a deer on his Harley. and Yeah. Put it on the bike and bro- bro- brought it home with him. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, we actually Did had. We? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just. I'm thinking about this flavoring. Oh, God. You guys got me confused. I think that first one might be better. You guys do think the second one? 100. percent I think the second one Mm-mm. is good, really Mm-mm. good, but that's tough. I like the second. One. Second. Too. Yeah. Three yeah. to one. You think the second one tastes more like the original? The second one just tastes good. I don't remember the original, original. Bomb pop. Like white white lightning was technically bomb pop. Oh. If you want yeah. to go bomb pop, I think the first one tastes a lot like bomb pop. But the second one, the tastes second one better. tastes better. Yes, I agree. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. 
You're right. It does almost taste exactly like White Lightning. The second one is White Lightning, like the original, I think. Okay, so why are you stuck on the first one? Well, I think the first one actually tastes more like a Bomb Pop. Yeah, but if the second one tastes better, then what? Well, it's not going to be called Bomb Pop anyway. Right. It's going to be called uh, Eagle Jizz or whatever. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. And then we agreed on the name. Unicorn Eagle Jizz, Jizz, Eagle Jizz. Yeah, it's going to be like fucking America. Like America threw up all over the bottle is the label pretty much. It's going to be have an eagle jacked up mm-hmm. with a fucking mullet and all kinds of shit on it. Maybe guns and, and boobs and everything. So, yeah, the label will be coming out soon. Second one's the best, huh? Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to try the other two. What do you think? No? I think they're both great. I would go either way. It doesn't It wouldn't matter to me. Am I wrong that the second... Because I don't drink pre-workout, so I haven't had local unicorn in a really long time. But mm-hmm. is the second one similar to it or no? A little bit. Not as sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bitter. Yeah. It's a little bit uh, because uh, local unicorn um, was like a rainbow sherbet. Right. Yeah, but like sweet tarts though too, yeah. which is what why that's like the sweet tart kind of aspect reminded mm-hmm. me of it. Maybe not. I'm not to retaste this all these. I'm already gonna I think my heart's gonna pop out <laughs> my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's fucking a uh, thousand milligrams of caffeine and fucking a thousand milligrams of beta alanine and everything else. Yeah, I'm gonna be tingling like something. I'm tingling right now. Mm-hmm. Which one's next? Oh geez, settle down, man. I'm gonna throw up. We got a long show to do still. Only five minutes into the damn episode. We don't. We're we done. don't have a long show. <laughs> we're almost done. <laughs> we, got it. we just started. We don't even know who the guy is that we're interviewing. All right. So where are we going to go from there? You got in, you got in double accidents. Double accidents. Um, I meet you at a certain location. Yeah. Right. Uh, Basically, you just on a blacktop. simped all over you. Hey, I've known you for all this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I you, followed you from you, the shed, man. Barbell? <laughs> yeah. like, yes, I am. Yeah. Aren't you the guy with the shed? Yeah. So we got to know each other a little bit. And then I've yeah. been seeing you around for, I don't know, the last six months to a year or whatever it's been. Yeah. So he's been, he knew Jack and Homeless, the shed. Uh, known all of it. Yeah. The Jack and Homeless shelter for a while. Yeah. Right. Watch um, it being built. Yeah, that was, and we only had that for five months. And now yeah, you're lived. in the barn. Yeah. What do yeah. you think of the barn so far? It's awesome. I mean, it's just like home, I guess. Yeah. It's everything what the videos have told me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's very, it's very homey. And, yeah, you know what driveway to go to, too. He didn't go to the house driveway. Yeah. How'd you know to come here? He goes, well, I'm watching enough videos. I know where the barn's at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just got to know where you wrecked the, the electric bike. Is in lobby. Right out there. Right, right out here. Right on the other side of those doors. Yeah. yeah. Right by. Like right in front. between my building and his building. Where yeah. the RV is where I landed in that pile of grass. Yeah. yeah. That was, it was probably one of the most epic videos I've oh, ever seen. Oh, God. Yeah. Price is on the ground with it on fire. I'm yeah. crying. It's too bad it had yeah. a screen. I remember like broken you. half. Yeah. No, I was there. I called you. He called. He was on Alabama. vacation. I was getting oh, married. Oh, yeah. That's, like, okay, tell him not to do it. Tell him not to do it. Karen's by the pizza guy shows up and. Uh, Karen's like, hey, you want to stay? He's about to do something really stupid. You can record it. So it's like, a, we haven't lived here that long. So it was like the first time a guy delivered a pizza here. Kid records it and he fucking leaves immediately. <laughs> He's on the ground. <laughs> Go on. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Karen starts yeah. crying. But well, I'll check on price right off the bat. Like, is price okay? Well, I'm I, like, I think I have a compound fracture. I'll be all right. When I watched the replay, that's when I. Oh, the replay. The replay was off. Yeah, the yes. slow motion when I laid looked like a J. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the slow motion was good. I remember you guys. I was like, get me up. Let's go. Uh, I don't know what. I, I have a beer. I had something. Well, then you ended up working out that night. And then I worked out. I benched that night. Put my and, foot up in the air. And oh. took the e-bike to work the next day. That, <laughs> that was a bad idea. was How? the dumbest thing ever. And the only reason I did it was just to prove that I'm a man. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm riding that motherfucker to work. I remember getting on the e-bike in the morning. And I couldn't get, hardly get on it because one leg wasn't working. I couldn't put any pressure on the leg. And uh, my truck was still down here, so I had to get my my wallet or I had to get something out of the truck for work, right? So I get down here, and I didn't know I can't dismount from the bike. So I had to <laughs> fall off the bike completely to get off of it. So I laid on the ground. Couldn't you just go to the other side? I couldn't. Why? I went to the other side. I couldn't get go, off of wait, it. Go to your strong side. I did. And that's how I laid laid the bike down. I couldn't flip my leg over. So I laid it down like this to get off the bike. And then when I laid, I just laid there. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing, man? 
Why am I going to drive this to do work? You like, Maybe I'll just go in and call him Do sick. you like how Tom is telling like 17 times better, like longer, poor me stories of an e-bike and like how many surgeries did you say you have for the motorcycle crash? I had nine. Nine. Yeah. yeah. Nine. How long do you Karen, still? I had, do you, I had 18. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I had 18 <laughs> surgeries. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you nine. still ride? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm actually going to buy a new bike next year, actually. Oh, that's, right. Right. that's not smart. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna buy a new e-bike next year, Tom? <laughs> of course, I got right back on the e-bike. Yeah. When you actually, fall off, you get right back on. I was actually looking, uh, looking at bikes on the way up here, and uh, while you were driving, while you're driving, no, no never. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> Why, you hit a deer. Yeah, when I was uh, when I was coming up here in the uh, the dealerships were, you know, on the interstate, you know, it's like, man, I really need to get me another bike. So uh, yeah, uh, finances. I'll probably have a new one next year. So. Um, I mean, I've already wrecked two. Might as well go for three. Yeah. So It'd be a nice trip up here in the summertime. <sighs> well, all I know is <laughs> the first bike when I wrecked it, my cousin's like, you know, was there anything that you want to regret? And I was like, well, I walked away. And I was like, my next trek, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I don't walk away. I didn't walk away. I was carried about yeah. <laughs> seven <laughs> firefighters. So, so what's the goal for the next one? Not wreck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good goal. <laughs> yeah. That's so. a good goal. Hey, let's uh, bust out uh, slushy. Bust out the slushy, pal. There you go, pal. So we are definitely going to have screwdriver BCAs coming up. Yeah. Killer juice. Yeah. We've already have that in in the works it's with the manufacturer, ordered. but we just have to pick which flavor we want to have next for the pre workout. Yeah. So we got a couple. This is cherry slushy. It smelled good. This it one smells smells really amazing. Good. Thank you. Thanks for the cup. I didn't know you wanted a cup. Here you go. There's a cup right here. Here. I really. That's my favorite ever. Delicious. For real? You know little, that is. No. What? Go ahead. You know those little cherry balls? No. Like the candy? It tastes like yeah. fun. It tastes uh, like. I, it tastes I, like. Yeah, it tastes like, like fun. I don't know what that is. A fun dip. Like cherry yeah, fun dip. I like. I don't know what cherry fun dip is. That tastes. So uh, cherry That's covered really ice cream at Dairy Queen. I don't think I've ever had that. The cherry dipped? No. The cherry dipped ice cream cone? It's like these. I've never oh, had it. Oh, okay. When I was in Alaska, I, I lived in Alaska when I was in the service. Whenever I call my mom, I go, hey, uh, we got to make one pit stop before we get home. And mm. she goes, what's that? And I was like, we're getting cherry dipped ice cream cones. <laughs> and she goes, of all things, that's what you want. And I was like, I want a cherry dipped, dipped ice cream cone. Cherry dipped ice cream cone. That was the first thing I did when I got off the, and that's exactly what that tastes like memories all these yeah. fucking flavors that this company has is they're all good. fucking awesome like that was i remember when i first get started with the company and i said here i want to do this up this ingredient do this but do not change a flavor it's like the best flavor i ever had every time i get a new stuff i i want every fucking flavor that cherry one's really good well, yeah, i'm really good. i'm definitely really gonna have good. some of this one yeah. <laughs> god damn i'm not it's gonna be hard to choose i really like that cherry Really? I will choose that one for you. <laughs> for real? Yeah, that's that good. That's really good. Really is good. good. I love delicious. cherry good, stuff, too. Okay, so then what's the good cherry name? Oh, Cherry Popper. Cherry Popper. Cherry Popper. Yeah. yeah. Popping cherries. I don't really have a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you even put a girl in the front of it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, with the leg spread open. Yeah. yeah. And then and the cherry coming out. out of it. Yeah. That would be good. Perfect. That would sell. I don't well, you don't think, think so? The double cherries that you know, all the girls have. <laughs> yes. You know, yep. Double cherry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, this is good. That's shit. really good. That's delicious. Oh, man. This is not going to be good. I'm not going to know what to choose. You haven't well, tried the last one. Looks like urine. Yeah. It doesn't look that great. Yeah. I don't I don't love the color. <laughs> well, it'd have to be more lemonade -y. That's a super sour lemonade. That was really good the last time we tried it. Well, if that's good, you can call it lemon piss. Lemon piss. That's that's the winner. Yeah, I love cherry flavored shit. Too. Yeah, but the bomb pop one was really the version two was good. Yeah, and I, I like the the logo or oh the logo's gonna yes. be awesome. The label you want to do. Yeah, what's going on with all these billboards? The billboards with uh, the the guy and the bear and the the eagle with the mullets around here. What? I haven't seen those. No, I've never seen one. Yeah, I think it's a lawyer. Oh, or something like did that. You take a picture. No, hold, oh. I do think we've seen that. A guy and a bear and an eagle. Yes. No. Yeah, it's a guy, a bear, and an eagle. That's all over your billboards up here. Do they all have mullets? Yes. I haven't seen a billboard, but <laughs> I've wasn't never seen it. No, uh -huh. but wasn't there a Super Bowl commercial where like 
everyone had a mullet. Well, I wonder if Steve it's Steve Austin's thing. I was a Yamaha. Oh, okay, so no. I was a Yamaha. I said no, I don't know All right, never mind. I don't know what it was, but huh. yeah, some of my adventures is uh, one of my buddies told me about it, and I was watching it all the way up here. I was like, well, there it is again. You probably expected less mullets as you drove north, not more. You would mullets. think, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're hillbilly city than where I'm at, but up here, it, it, more cattle even. I didn't expect oh, yeah. that at all. Lots. There's a lot of cattle up here, and then. Uh, What's that big, uh, big barn place you got up here? The Spirits. Spirits Barn. Yeah. What is? Would you take north? What do you? Oh, talking it's about? literally right down the road from here. Spirits. Yeah, with all the horses. Huge red barn. Big old rock. It said something Spirit Farms or something like that. Oh, oh yeah. Off of seventy one there. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's some... a trucking company. Yeah. They have a Spirit ton of trucking. horses. Yeah. Spirit Trucking. There's a lot of this guy's got a horse for me right next door here, too. Hey, Burners. Not Jason. The other yeah, side Jason. of the wall. Yeah, I don't have any horses. Yeah. The other side of that wall, there's horses. I got chickens. And mullets. <laughs> yeah. yeah mull mullets, 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 mullets are that way. Yeah. The whole <laughs> family of mullets. Yeah. The sons, the husband, and the daughter. Yeah, and, the and the wife. And the wife. I didn't no, expect. she does not stop it. Well, she doesn't have a mullet anymore. The wife does. The She's wife. got a mullet? Oh, yeah. And she, she chews cheek to back like Red Man and Copenhagen. And drinks beer with Clamato, right? Yep. She's awesome. We got to have her on one day. I love her. <laughs> She's great. She's hilarious. She's fucking dipping, shooting guns out there. Fucking yep. nuts. Grandpa's out there going crazy. Yeah, Grandpa does not like Dressed it. up in his fatigues. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. So you were in the, what, were you in the Army or what? Army. Army? Yeah. You got any good stories from the Army <laughs> that you can share? Uh, yeah, I mean... You have any like? Uh, you think you beat prices? Yeah. Did you? Can you beat Big Boss Man? See, like ten of them had sex with one woman, right? Was yeah. that? Uh, we didn't have anything like and that. And then dropped her off at Hardy's the next morning for a job. Uh, yeah, work. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That, so we have a thing. It's called CQ. It's, it's control of quarters, twenty four hour duty. And uh, I was on it, and I was private. So I mean, I'm I'm fresh boot, and uh, we have a guy that. I'm going and doing my tour and everything. I go back and I'm, you have like a desk that you sit at and you always have, a, I was the runner and then you have a guy that's in charge. So I'm sitting there and I go do my tour, come back. It's like two in the morning, come back. I sit down and I see a guy across the way and he's sleeping on a couch. I was like, where'd he come from? And he goes, Oh, he just, he just laid down, went to sleep. He's pretty jacked up. I'm like, all right, cool. So we're sitting there and we're watching him. And then it's about, I don't know, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. And one of my buddies is like, hey, you need to go walk over there, see if he's all right. The closer you get to him, the more shit you smell. Oh. And he's <laughs> and you just see the brown stain down oh. his back of his pants. Oh, and I was like, man, that's that's rough. Yeah. So we've so, all been there. Yeah. So we've we all get, been there, guys. So, so no, we get no, there. we have not. Yeah, I can't say <laughs> I have shit ago. myself. <laughs> yeah, a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, the Arnold. <laughs> yeah, so we get we get done and we get done with our duty and everything. I go back to my bear's room, I change everything, I go to eat breakfast. I see one of my buddies and another guy that were mutual friends. So I was like, hey, do you see that guy that shit himself? And he, he goes, yeah, it was me. <laughs> I was like, dude, I was like, your lucky jeans are jacked. And he goes, I threw him away. He goes, I was a whole mess right there. So, oh, God. Uh, other than that, I mean, you know, we have uh, not really – Two exciting things. I mean, it's Alaska. Fifteen one odds. Fifteen men to one woman. Oh, so you got three hundred pound women. Uh, wow. Got the smorgasbord of uh, picking their <laughs> picking their litter who they want to take home that night. So uh, it's a good time. Uh, we had uh, when we went overseas. I was a uh, personal security detachment of my battalion. So we was basically we was escorts for our uh, battalion lieutenant colonel and our sorry major our. Uh, Alpha Company had a dog, and it was a white little lab-looking thing. We decided we're going to steal it, so we take it. <laughs> and uh, so we take this dog, and we throw it, and we're in strikers. So they're big eight-wheeled vehicles, and uh, we take it. We hide it underneath our gunner's uh, seat. Commander comes in. He gets then to his hatch. He looks down. He goes, uh, fuck is that? He goes, uh, that's a dog. And he goes... <laughs> Where the fuck it come from? We're like, well, we took it from Alpha Company, and he goes, "Well, if she's gonna, she were gonna ride in here. We gotta give it a name." Well, I guess uh, he he really liked porn, so he named it after a porn star. <laughs> and uh, Who was it Jenna Jameson? Uh, I want to say it was like Lisa Ann or something. Oh, Lisa like that. Ann, yeah, very. Cool. Yeah, so 
we're sitting there. <laughs> she just got arrested, if you didn't know. <laughs> oh, no, for uh, what? Or, no, she didn't get arrested. She got kicked out of a uh, Matt Rife concert for pulling her phone out. Oh, it's all over the internet. Yeah, I don't know who she is, though. I had to look her up. Uh, so you had to look her up. Yeah, I had to look up who yeah. she was. How long did that last? Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. On the way here, on. Hole. <laughs> Fifteen minutes, man. You're you're long shot on that one. Yeah. 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 Gotta find a video. Maybe right one there. exit. Yeah, yeah. You gotta find the right video. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen minutes, find the right video. About three minutes worth. <laughs> uh, so so no three shit. Three to work. Yeah. So it's we're sitting there and we got this dog and it's going out with us all the time. Well, uh, Alpha Company had to come to the battalion for something, and they hijacked the dog. And so they take the dog. Next morning, oh, we know it happened. We ain't going to say nothing. Next morning, we go. We get loaded up. Colonel gets into the fucking striker, and he goes, where the fuck's Lisa Ann at? Uh, Alpha team took her, and he goes, go get the dog. <laughs> go get the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh no shit we actually uh you know we're talking about going outside the wire getting shot at all the time we literally loaded up and went and got this man's dog <laughs> and we literally walked in like we owned the place took the dog came back and it was probably two months later it was a uh huge ordeal dogs have rabies real bad overseas oh shit so they uh put <laughs> out a hand it's got rabies <laughs> so they they put out Sounds they put out right. a memo yeah put a memo out saying uh, all dogs will be euthanized oh. and uh so we have the dog we go back to alpha company which special team extra uh, special forces was attached to them and uh we pull up this dude big old bear belly i mean you won't know an sf guy unless you've been over there a couple times it's got a big bear beer belly, big old beard. And he goes, Hey, uh, we want Lisa Ann. And we're like, uh, all right. And he goes, uh, we're like, are you euthanizing her? And he goes, Nope, we don't go under your guys' rules. So they take Lisa Ann and they just, it's like to the motherland, takes her over to the <laughs> compound. <laughs> Seen her like six months later, big old fat dog fucking living the life. So, yeah. so she That's got saved. Good. It was a good time. But yeah, we ain't, I ain't got any good stories, man. I mean, if I sat and thought about it enough, I'd probably get some funny ones, but I, uh, well, where did you go? Like where I was in Afghanistan. So, um, actually where I was at was pretty popular on the internet. Uh, so it was 2011, 2012 is when I was over there. Uh, there was a E6, uh, that went over there and he, uh, he did some pretty bad things and it was all over the internet. Uh, he is going to be locked up forever. I don't know if I can talk about it on this or not, but, um, he uh he killed 19 uh women and children and elders in our area of operation huh. and um the next morning after i think happened, you could talk about it <laughs> <laughs> well i'm not gonna say his name yeah well i mean it's like i said i you mean it's, google it yeah you can Probably. google it yeah just look up like march march february march of 2011 and find out uh kandahar uh it was panjway district is where i was at mm -hmm. um so that was a Saturday night to a Sunday morning. Only reason I remember this because uh, Sunday mornings we had to sleep in until seven a.m. We got woke up at about four, and I was like, "Hey, uh, shit, it's a fan. You always gonna have to do some shit." So we had to get our vehicles ready, everything else. Uh, Eight a.m. We had fourteen uh, all blacked out SUVs show up with uh, some VIPs, and then twelve o'clock it was uh, the president of Afghanistan showing up. So we had two months left of our deployment and it just all went downhill from there. I mean, we had a vehicle on every run up or ECP had vehicles. I mean, we was on high alert for the rest of the time and we we're just trying to go home. We had like a month left. Yeah. So How long were you over there for? I was there for a year. Yeah. Just, I was one, actually we was one of the last ones that did a year because they shut down uh, Kuwait and everything for the R and R's and they started doing nine month tours after that. So we, uh, we got taken over by uh, Fort Lewis we took over for the Canadian uh, Army, which is pretty cool. They wasn't happy about it because they actually get to drink. So they had to get rid of all their beer and everything whenever we showed up. And So uh, the Canadian Army gets to drink when they're oh, in a yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think they have like a limit, but I don't think the limit's very uh, oh, man. Yeah. enforced. I thought the enforced. Canadians were like, you no, know. No, they had it all. So they had a uh, Haas and Doss ice cream. Jesus. Yeah. They got everything. Yeah. yeah. They had the Haas and Doss man. And they did not like us. Cause we'd go in and we was eating their ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> eating the Canadians ice cream. Yeah. Dipped Drink in cherry. It. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't like us. Cherry dipped. But, uh, 
pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. We'll have to talk it off off stream here, but uh, yeah, yeah stuff about that. Hmm. So then you come back, get a job. Yeah, I went back to working at the tire factory. Actually, I I, I was smart. Yeah. How different is of a life change is that going from Afghanistan to working at a tire factory? Uh, so uh, I worked at a tire factory before I left. Uh, I was 20 years old. I was smart. I took military leave. I come back, and it was night and day different. Oh, so, gosh. like, I mean, here I am. I was 18 years old when I hired in at this tire factory. So it was, you know, working with a bunch of guys that in their 40s, got all these jokes and shit. I go back from the military, and uh, we have, like, extruders for everything, for rubber and everything. I'm I'm fresh out. Like, I got back in May of 12, and I went straight back to my job in August. So I'm back, and they put me in a whole nother job, everything else. And uh, we're sitting there, and this guy goes, hey. I was, I'm like, I'm trying to learn the job. So I walk up. I'm like, hey, what's going on? He goes, oh, this this extruder, uh, it bled out, so uh, you got to pull the air pockets out. Well, he doesn't say that. He just says, hey, pull this rubber. So I start pulling on the rubber, and just, pow, and I fucking drop. Oh, yeah. I start sweating. I'm just like, man, and I just literally talked to the dude to the left going, yeah, I just got back from Afghanistan. <laughs> that, guy, that guy comes running up and he punches him in the shoulder. He goes, you dumb motherfucker, you just got back from Afghanistan. He's fucking jumpy as shit. And I was like, I'm like, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. It's all good. <laughs> I'm pouring sweat. I was like, what the fuck just happened? You know? So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a change. I mean, it matures the shit out of you. I mean, I did, I did three short years. Right. I mean, I was no life or nothing. I did two years when I was in Alaska, and I did my one-year tour, and I got out. I was like, I'm done. Got the T-shirt going home. Were you were you in Alaska when they had that like all day or yep. all night or whatever? Nine months of darkness. Yeah. So I was in Fairbanks. It's Fort Wainwright, Alaska. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a definitely uh, definitely a experience of its own. Um, you like to play with the new jacks. You go, hey, I'll, I bet you can't drink till sun goes down in the summertime because <laughs> it don't go down twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah. So Shit. I mean, my platoon sergeant, his first summer there, uh, he bought a house. Everything because it's cheaper to buy than rent. Mm -hmm. So uh, he bought a house. He got a chainsaw. He started just cutting all these trees down. His neighbor comes across the street. He goes, "Hey, man, you think you give it a break? It's four in the morning." And he goes. Oh shit! <laughs> I thought it was fucking four yeah, four o'clock in the afternoon, afternoon, man. And yeah. He's like, "Sorry about that." So he shut the chainsaw off and went to bed. But uh, talking about drinking yourself sober, I'm like, "That's that's a fact. You can do it." Yeah. Do the bars stay open or what's the uh, deal they stay there? they stay open till four a.m. and then they yeah. open at six. So two hours. Two hour shut down. To clean the puke up and then yeah. get the people back in there. Yeah. Uh, and then there's uh, native bars that soldiers aren't allowed to go in. What? Yeah. So the natives uh, won't allow you in there. Uh, I think it was called the North Star Bar. I think is what it was called in Fairbanks. Yeah. Uh, they shout out to North Star. North Star. Uh, they they wouldn't Jeez. let us come out. But uh. Oh. So no. We're this, trying. This is not. Good. We're trying the extreme <laughs> sour ah. lemonade right now. I mean, actually, it is kind of really good. I don't know that I could drink like a whole one. Oh man! It's, yeah. God damn, that's sour. It's really sour. Could you imagine drinking a whole bottle of that daily? I could. No. Be a it's a her upper. I need a little more sour. For real? <laughs> I take more sour. Like. I think it's like the little little hard candies. It's it's good as a small candy, not what, a big what, warheads. Yeah, yes, that's what yes. it's supposed to be. Kind of like yeah, yeah, lemonade that's version. Like. Heads yeah, that's a warhead. I think they're all good. Jerry, I don't drink. I'm, Jerry, Jerry. I'm like tingling I'm everywhere. Oh, I'm tingling. I too. spilled a little bit of my face. My face is tingling. Yeah, your face is tingling. What do you think? Funny. What's the best? Cherry. Cherry? Mm -hmm. Cherry? Version two and cherry. Yep. So version two, cherry. Mm -hmm. This one hits harder though. It I'm, does. I literally just start getting tingles. Yeah. Or it's your fourth class of pre-workout. It might be one my fourth class. Other. Yeah, because I've I dry shot everything. So I think it might take a little bit for it to kick in for Dang, me. Dang, I, I like. This is different, though. This is this different. flavor is different than anything else. It's a warhead. Yeah, it is definitely. Yeah, be a good summertime one down the road, maybe. That'd be yeah. great for yeah. summertime. Extreme lemonade, yes. extreme mixed salad. with a vodka. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's let's give her a shot. Yeah. <laughs> He's mixing his extreme chair or. People are like, that's hey, a Karen pour. That's a Karen pour. Cheers, buddy. I want to at least taste it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh my arms tingled when I got it. Oh, no. 
Well, for you to start over. I'm not even drunk yet. For those of you listening, uh, he just he just poured it all. There's some more ice in the freezer if you want it. Yeah, it's, I'm just gonna top her off. Yeah, there you all go. All right, now another Karen. Oh, <laughs> there you didn't leave enough room yeah. that time. Yeah, for those of you listening, he just uh, spilled his whole drink all over the, the brand new table, which is not new. No, but maybe move the computer yeah. two inches move, closer to you. Yep, yeah, move it. It's it's in the, in the wet spot. All right, yeah. all right. Here we well, go. I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your own wet spot. <laughs> yeah. cheers. All right, let's cheers, go. Cheers son. now. All right. Boy. All right, that's awesome. He's drinking vodka and the extreme shower lemonade. How's that? And off yeah. the mustache. I'm, I'm all in it. Oh, off the stash. It's great. All right, off the stash. Hey, do it. Good shit. Huh? Do it. Do it. Pour that, a little, pour hey, a that is good. That's do a good it, drink. You got to do a Tom pour to him. You know that. I mean, do you? I mean, do you like? You oh, like doing oh, yeah. like, like energy drinks and vodka? Of course, I do it all the time. Right there, there it is. Yeah, is that enough time? Yeah, it's good. I <laughs> right. you what is that? I got to coach Earl Do you tonight. sit when you pee? Yes. yes. Ooh, that's you... way too strong. That's too much vodka. <laughs> Did you see him at the Arnold? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it was in a you know, on the stretcher. Oh, I was drunk right now there. Mm-hmm. Vodka Ooh. is like water for me, though. Yeah, just like Jack the homeless. Ooh. Remember Jack the homeless? <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> no, I, I mean I'm not I'm not bragging, but a handle of Tito's would last me one night if I didn't have to work the next day. Let bragger. me do a little bit of bragging myself. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not bragging. I mean, it was called borderline alcoholic, but <laughs> yeah, it's good though. I mean, I I'd get a gallon a gallon of <laughs> orange juice and a gallon of Tito's, and I was good to go. Holy shit! Yeah, and I had so I mean I big old cup like that, and I'd play some video games and get fucked up, and then. <laughs> That was a, and like I don't even play video games much anymore. That was my way to keep in contact with all my buddies. Yeah, like you that's know, what you're saying. Well, you not know, out here, but yeah, yeah. Like your buddies from Alaska and yeah, shit. Yeah, like my one buddy, he was from Michigan. He went and married a girl and stayed in Alaska, and that was my way of staying in touch with him. And <laughs> like it'd be midnight for me, it'd be nine for him. Yeah, and I'd be like, hey man, I'm fucked up. Let's go, and yeah. we'd be playing whatever video game you could think of. But I mean, half of us, I was looking at a corner, just sitting there going. Hey man, I love you. Drunk, <laughs> 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 um, you know you get that. I love you, drunk. Oh yeah, I, I love you. Man. Well, that's good. You weren't fighting your TV then. Yeah, uh, no, no. That was an hour later. <laughs> yeah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I I'll, fucking hate your guts. I moved the couch downstairs so I could just just transition from the the computer chair to the couch and just go to sleep. Ooh. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good. That, uh, that's good. Um. I got a whole list of questions All that, right. that I know. Yep. Um, seven times eight. Go ahead. Eight times seven. Whoa, whoa we're not going. Whoa. We're not one of the last questions. Karen, oh. you just gave him the answer. Oh, see, look, no, I didn't. I, I said seven times eight, eight times seven. That's not the answer. Um, that's 56. Here, question. It's five, six, seven, eight. No, that ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Small town school. All right. Uh, first off, what do you bench? We we answered that. Yeah, that's the very first question always. Yep. Second question: What is your favorite Huck Finn barbell video? It's got to be the Legos. The Lego. Yeah, he was saying the Lego <laughs> deadlift is gets yeah. a lot. Of, yeah, yeah, Lego deadlift. That's probably my favorite because you come out doing the Ric Flair afterwards. Oh yeah, always, <laughs> yeah. always got to look cool at the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my feet> <laughs> Even if it hurts, you still got to look cool. That and then. uh Probably when Big Boy threw threw you over his shoulder. Oh yeah, that wasn't planned at all. Either. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah whenever you, I mean, you have the the gray sweats and like your balls are right on his face mm-hmm. and he just chucks you over. <laughs> yeah, like you motherfucker. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, he did not know that was coming. Yeah, um, I vomited in the parking lot shortly after that. I, was, yeah. I had to force myself to. <laughs> yeah, I drank That's too much. I drank that tequila. that tequila and then I also fucking shotgun to Four Loco after that too with these other Mexican guys in the parking. Lot. And I remember I'm like. I'm going to get alcohol poisoning. I got to force myself to throw up. So I forced myself to throw up so violently. I blew out all my, my eyes. My blood, they blood shot both eyeballs because I was vomiting. Uh, so when I vomit, I vomit hard. It's like I sneeze or, uh, you know, Bragger. bring Karen to bed. You know, you, I, I, you do know hurt. that if you inhale before you sneeze, you're just feeding the sneeze. You'll blow your back out doing it. I did not know that. Yeah. It's the fastest thing that actually runs through your body. It's over a mile an hour. It's been clocked. Holy shit! Isn't that why didn't see me Sosa? Yeah, Sosa blew, blew his back out sneezing. sneezing. Yeah, so if you if you inhale before you sneeze, you're just loading it up. So, so just, don't ooh. inhale. Do not inhale. Like, just literally sit there. And just, if you can, 
Like, yeah. keep his little Dude, air in your I'm going to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't inhale. I like, will try that. And the thing is, is like the best, I don't know, another trick though, is like if you have a sneeze, sneeze coming, stare up at the light and just it, exhale as much as you can. And it's the least, it'll be the lowest you got. But yeah, you will blow your back I out. I do this and that helps. Or you can have someone just say, God bless you. And it'll stop it. It will? 100%. Oh my god! I I heard that too. Yeah. So what? Yeah. God bless you, Tom. Yeah, like if I wasn't so. gonna sneeze. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did you know you're gonna come on the Hookfin Barbell Show and find out all these facts? I mean, you didn't you can learn yeah, on let's here keep now. This guy yeah. around, huh? yeah, right? Uh, I I am full of useless knowledge. Mm -hmm. What are the questions you got? Um, what is your favorite song? Favorite song? Hmm. Man, like it changes. Like I like I get hooked on certain stuff. What's your uh, all time journey? Probably be journey more than feeling. <laughs> more than a feeling? Mm -hmm. That's not even journey, is it? Uh, maybe I don't know. More than a feeling is Boston. <laughs> it's Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. More than a feeling, Boston <laughs> journey, whoever we want to call it. So yeah. like eighties? Yeah, eighties rock. Yeah, that's yeah. That's I like eighties rock. Yeah, I know. Uh, if my dad, if you'd ask him, it'd probably be uh, Thunderstruck. AC, yeah. AC, you know. yeah, that's He's, Big Boss Man's favorite. Yep. Yeah, Thunderstruck. I would, I really enjoyed it in high school, but I've been burned out on it by him. So yeah. I would have to play say more than a feeling if I if I was going to get drunk as shit and I want to hear something, it's probably going to be that. Now, Gem Styles, it's going to be more like a Kubla Khan heavy metal stuff. Kubla Khan. Yeah, I don't think I know that. I don't either. Is this some kind of German you shit? You don't listen to country music? I don't listen to country music. I don't want to hear about my dog running away or my truck not oh. starting. You don't what want to hear about your broken heart and yeah. that you got to drink about no, it? No, I don't need to do that. I mean, you drink. do. You know it all. You had Lisa and your dog ran away. Yeah. No, we came and got her back. Well, that's yeah. usually that's a good happy ending to a country yeah. song. Yeah. He's in for a treat today. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's a treat too. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much all we listen to. You listen to Metallica sometimes when you work out. Very yeah. rare. You might have to do it for him. Yeah, that's that's kind of watered down. That's not hardcore enough. No. You know, especially I mean, when you made the Black Album, a lot of those guys are like, ah, oh, no, it's not really Metallica. Yeah. That's, that's you know, like, no. I think the like worst. It's got to be Justice down. Album. I, I was at a Slipknot yeah. concert. Yeah, I'm actually going to Vegas uh, next month to go see them. Brag. I was, <laughs> I'm going to brag I was, all day. But. I was there when they were still all alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a long time ago. So, yeah. how about uh, his favorite food? Whoa, whoa, you're jumping questions. We're moving along. All right, favorite hey, food. The kids, are, get going. the kids are getting huffed. Bust soon. I got to leave. Chicken and dumplings, hands down. Chicken and dumplings. All right. Yeah, chicken like, and dumplings. No, but no country music. Cracker Barrel? Chicken and dumplings? Or? No, homemade. Okay. No, homemade chicken and dumplings. It's been my birthday meal since I can remember. Since 35 years ago? Uh, I don't know if I was eating it in the womb, but I was definitely <laughs> wanting some chicken and dumplings. <laughs> uh, chicken and dumplings, mashed potatoes, gravy, brown gravy, and corn. <laughs> brown gravy. It's got to be brown gravy. Um, your favorite movie, Blues Brothers, hands down. Oh God, we love the Blues Brothers. My yeah. girls all know the Blues Brothers since they've been five. The girls I, can shake their teal feathers. I like think no I was twenty when I realized it was a musical. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I still don't realize it's a musical. Yeah, I didn't know it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I was twenty when I realized it was a musical. <laughs> all right, these questions are going to get a little bit tougher now. Okay, all right. Jeez. Name me the two major mountain ranges in the United States. Mountain ranges, yes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he doesn't know this one. Do, do, do. Appalachian, mm, don't know the other one. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have a guess. Uh, Appalachian Mountains, you want to give him a hint? Yes, yeah. mm -mm. Himalaya. Figured the Rocky Mountains would be a little bit more rockier than this. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. The Rocky uh, Mountains, Rocky Mountains. All right, that's good. He knows that. no, like, no one doesn't know. The Rockies and only knows the Appalachian. So I had the one of the two. Yes, yes. I, I said the hard one. You, you yeah, did. you definitely said the hard you one. The, yeah, the, the hard Appalachian one. and the yeah. Rockies. That shows when you put someone on point where the brain does. Karen already gave you the one eight times seven. I didn't tell him the answer. He just heard the question. Eight times seven was the the other one. Eight times seven. Mm -hmm. And fifty six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you I had it right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Five, yeah, because five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Oh, <laughs> of course. Yes. No, so like, listen, like the nines. Yep, the fingers. We the know fingers. that we've all got yep. kids. We know so, the nines. So seven, eight. Yep. So it's five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Yep. Fifty six. All right. This is a tough one. All right. And the final one. Okay. Name me the five Great Lakes. <laughs> five Great Lakes. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Erie. 
Yeah. Whenever he repeats it, like he Michigan. doesn't know the answer. Pizza. Whenever you repeat the question, you don't know the answer. Okay, so we got. <laughs> <laughs> you just met this guy. How do you know that already? Talking shit already. <laughs> That's the second time you did it. Yeah. All right, so we got Lake Michigan, Lake Erie. That's it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've rode my Harley alongside him. That's the only reason I know him. You don't know the other three at all? Nope. You don't know the. The one that touches. Oh, no, you said it in Michigan. Never mind. Just kidding. Yeah. Holmes. 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 H O M E S. Holmes? That's, yeah. Here Lake on. Holmes. Ontario, Michigan. Lake it's Ontario? Acronym. What's that? That's my Canada. Eh? Oh, eh. Oh. <laughs> French fries and gravy. Right? Erie and Superior. Superior. You don't know Lake Superior. I think you know that one. That's the biggest one. Oh. Nope. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald? I don't even know what state touches this state. I know Missouri's here somewhere. Well, you want the bonus question then? Yeah, give him the bonus. No chance he's getting this one. All right. Tell me the, the bonus question is name me four states that touch the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where the fuck Repeated that is. the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst states that touch the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana. Am I close? Yeah. Florida. Yeah. yeah he's smoking. Damn, you are way smarter than I thought, man. And yeah. he even followed up the question. Yeah, he mm -hmm. pretty much aced that. Yeah. You know? I was like, y'all stared at me like I had it right. Because <laughs> 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 everybody wants to say Mexico. Mm. A lot of people say the states that touch Mexico. Yeah. A lot of people like Arizona, California. No. What the New Mexico. Mexico is literally yes, but a big lot, old circle right, right. there. The you know, only reason I know that shit is because I've been to Louisiana probably 100 times. Yes. I w I, okay. I'm making my own follow-up because he already admitted. What are the states that border the state that you live in, Illinois? Okay, so we got Wisconsin, he just said he Wisconsin, Indiana, <laughs> Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri. Tennessee is not. Oh, well, it's, it's underneath really Kentucky, doesn't. right? Oh, so Kentucky <laughs> shuts off Tennessee. Yes. All right, so we got <laughs> Kentucky, Indiana, Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't. You should have said yeah. He yeah. would have added another one. Yeah, he oh, definitely would have. <laughs> Yeah. I was thinking he about this shit. He I was thinking, had one more. I really to wanted say. to say Michigan, but I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's about right. Yeah. All right, let's wrap this up. All right. Thank uh, you, John Malek tank, from the Lockup Tank, gym. where can we what? find Tank yet? Oh, yeah. Tank, are you on Instagram? Um, What's your handle? Like, where can people find you at? If you I'm want kind of, people to find you. I don't want people finding me. You don't want people to find you. <laughs> it's probably a good idea that you went on the podcast. You're going to go work out together then. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I got, I think I got Instagram, maybe a picture or two on there. Uh, TikTok. Oh, you're on TikTok, I'm huh? on TikTok. What, do you do a lot of dance moves on there? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I do all the trends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> I like doing the trends on there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You can find him. Uh, I guess you'll have to find him on TikTok. On TikTok. Yeah. I think it's uh, Tank731. I think it's what it is. Tank731. Yeah. Why 731? 731 is a football number. And what's one? Your number one? 73 was already taken. <laughs> <laughs> two, seven, three, one. One. Yeah, if that was taken, he had to go two. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's shit. like the license plates. You got to add the next number. Right. All right. Who are we sponsored by? Thank Ended you, John up. Millett from Lockup Gym, www.thelockupgym.com. Go see him in person in Taylorville, IL. What? Yes, it's on the screen. Yep. There it is right there. HBF. Use code HFB10 for 10% off your order. Yes. Thank you, John. We appreciate you. Lock up gym. Yeah, you could stop by on your way home. Tell they, have, far from you. they have a gym. In they have the, a gym? Is it called the lockup? Yes. And they <laughs> they like their uh, men of. They like their men. Of lockup. Of, of, uh, of the lockup. Yeah. They like their men of the they like, uh, law. Uh, law okay. enforcement people. Yeah. They like Police law enforcement the, the over there. That's over why there it's the lockup gym. Oh, makes sense. And they have a supplement shop too. Well, and apparel. They also have a slushy machine with Let's Get Stupid. No, it's broke. No, he broke it. I thought he got well, I mean, it's broke. It's broke again? It's broke. No. Oh. Yeah. He used to have a slushy going he used with my to have pre workout like in there all the time. Our oh, supplement, man. our pre workout yeah. and slushies. Right. Man, too bad they don't have like the icy machine like like Walmart used to have. Remember that? Remember back in the day when there was just regular Walmart and they had the icy machine? Wasn't that Kmart? No, no that Walmart. was definitely Walmart. Walmart, Walmart because because I, I remember being a kid all the time. The icy they'd always said the, the icies, the icies was right there yeah. at the yep. checkout. And be like, hey, I want an icy. I could never get one. Uh, I, I couldn't one. either. <laughs> no icies for you. No <laughs> icies for you, <laughs> fat no. boy. Fat boy. Yeah, fat right, boy. Well, thanks for coming on, fat boy. Let's get. Well, we got to work out you. now. Yep. Shoulder workout. Yep. Okay. Bye. Miss Barbell.
Mm, go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs>